Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to teach you how to construct an accurate triangle. So our question says construct a triangle with a base of 7 centimeters and a height of 4 centimeters. But there's a part 2 in this question which says what is its area and its perimeter? Okay, let's get started with that. Before I find the area and perimeter I actually have to construct, so again I'm going to need a ruler and a set square to do that. So like my rectangle, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a baseline of 7 centimeters. And I'm going to start down the page and draw that 7 centimeter line, making sure that I'm being super accurate to start at 0 and end at exactly 7. That will be my base of 7 centimeters. Now I need a height of 4 centimeters. Now with a triangle, I'm not giving you any angle measurements in this question. So I just need to know that I'm going to have three sides. I need to know that its height is going to be 90 degrees to its base. But they don't tell me what kind of triangle to make and they don't tell me any angles. So that makes our job very easy. All I have to do now is take my set square and just put it anywhere on this line so that I have a corner or a perfect 90 degree angle going upwards, right? I can do that on the extreme edge here. I can do the same thing on the other edge here. That's going to give me a very specific type of triangle. But I like to just go somewhere in the middle. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but I'm going to go there and I'm going to draw a construction line again, which is a faint line that's not my actual measurement that I need. It's just a line that's going to help me when it comes time to measure my exact length. Because you can see I'm not measuring in centimeters on this side of my set square. This is inches and I can't just measure four centimeters from this side. So I draw a faint line. Now I can come back and draw my four centimeter height. So I line up four centimeters directly on my baseline. And because it's my height, and in a triangle, in this triangle anyway, my height is on the inside of my shape, I'm not going to draw a solid line. I'm going to draw a dotted line and erase the part that I don't need. That way I'm not confusing my teacher and thinking that I think that that's a line or a side length of my triangle. So this is exactly where 4 centimeters is at the top of my height. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect either side of my base to that height. I'm going to write in height is equal to 4 centimeters so that I don't forget and I can show my teacher that I understand where the height is and that it creates a 90 degree angle to my base. And that is how you properly construct a triangle. I could have done this a different way, and maybe I'm going to quickly do that. Here's a second triangle that looks completely different from that first one, but that still would be right, because here's a base of 7, 7 centimeters. I'm going to draw a height of 4 centimeters, drawing a construction line right there. You can see I'm going a lot quicker this time. And this time, because it's right on the edge, my height is actually a side length. And now all I have to do is connect these two sides to create the third side of my triangle. Here is my height. This is my 90 degree line. And you can see that both of these triangles are very different, but they are both right because I constructed a triangle. It has three sides and my base is seven. My height is four. Three-sided polygon with a base of seven and a height of four. This is called a right angle triangle. This is called a uh, probably an acute triangle and it looks to be scalene, which means all three sides are different. But I'm not done. I want to know the area and perimeter. So let's find the area and perimeter of this first triangle that I created. So I'm just going to draw myself a line here to show you that I'm working on this left side. So the way that we find the area and the perimeter of a triangle, let's start with perimeter. 
Perimeter means adding up all outside lines. So all side lengths added up is going to equal to my perimeter. Problem is, I didn't actually measure this side, and I didn't actually measure this side. So I'm going to go ahead and do that quickly right now. This is exactly 5.5 centimeters. And this side length is, looks like it's 5.1 centimeters. And I already know that my base is 7. So to find out what my uh, perimeter is, I'm going to add 7 centimeters plus 5.1 centimeters plus 5.5 centimeters. And I can use a calculator to do that. If I do that, I will get my answer. And my answer that I get on my calculator is 17.6 centimeters. Okay, notice that it's not 17.6 centimeters squared because I'm not talking about area, I'm talking about perimeter, which is only measuring length around a shape. But now I'm going to work with area. The way that we find the area of a triangle is using the formula base times height divided by 2. Because any triangle is always half of a rectangle. And if a rectangle's area is base times height, we can divide it by 2 to find the area of the triangle. So I know that my base is 7 centimeters. I know that my height is 4 centimeters. That 2 never changes, so I'm always going to divide it by 2. I don't need these two sides. So my area is going to be 7 times 4, which is 28 centimeters squared divided by 2. 28 divided by 2 is going to be 14 centimeters squared. So my final answer to this question is 14 centimeters squared. I hope that was helpful.